Someone has made a tragic mistake because they have, in the mail, sent me a flamethrower. So, we'll go from this to this. Now, of course, you know I'm a big fan of safety, so I'm wearing a polyester sweatshirt. I've got my safety glasses securing my forehead. And in the event of a disaster, we've brought some water to put out a fire. Actually, we're, we're probably not gonna need this, so I'm gonna go ahead and drink some of it. If there's a fire, I can pee on it. Now, normally when we film things like this, there's absolutely no danger to the camera person. Except in this event, I think probably the camera person's in the most amount of danger. Then we have Ryan whose job is literally to soak everything down so that I don't, what, burn the world down? Yeah, a little bit of it. Okay, cool. Let's see what this will do. All right, so uh, we're gonna turn the thing on and see what we got. And I am I am anxious to see how this goes. So it's got a, uh, got a little on button right here, right there. And then the voltage indicator comes on. Then we have a trigger assembly right here that's a button. We're gonna go ahead and uh, apparently this thing is supposed to be good for burning brush. And I'm sure that's why they sent it to me, right, Ryan? Sure. Because they wanted me to burn some brush. That, that's exactly it. If for some reason you needed to start a campfire instantaneously, I think this particular flamethrower is uh, good for you. So it definitely makes fire, but I want to see how far up in the air it'll go. So, or think we're good? Yeah. I think that's easily like 20 feet or so. Hands down. Oh, did we accidentally catch the road on fire? Ryan, could you pee on that? <laughs> Now listen, I'm really busy at work, so I don't always have time to cut the grass. And that means that sometimes the grass can be a little long, but I think with this, that's not really a concern. We're gonna, we're gonna see if I can do some landscaping. I think we can fire the lawn care crew. Agreed. We've, we've totally got this handled. Yeah. Now, I would hate for this fire to get out of control. So I watched a special on forest fires once and they said that if you start a burn line, I can use another fire to burn this fire out. So let's see if I was lied to as a child. I don't think one fire is burning the other fire out. I think it's just getting bigger fire. Yeah. Agreed. Now, we've already demonstrated that you can do landscaping with this. You could definitely control weeds. You could definitely start campfires. But I'm wondering, can I start a fire in a barrel? Because it's always a pain in the ass to start a fire in a barrel, isn't it? Yes. You know, you got to stack the stuff in there, then pour some Girl Scout water in there. And then like reach in and set it on fire. I think we could shortcut it with this. Let's test. So of course we've got our safety equipment firmly in place on top of our head and we've drank in most of the carbonated water. So yeah. let's not have an accident. Yeah, I would say that uh, Instant fire is the phrase that comes to mind. This has got to be the best present that I've ever gotten. Agreed. I mean, seriously. I mean, that's awesome. Now, just because I'm bored, I want to know, can I get rid of mud puddles with it? I 
I don't know if it got rid of the mud puddle, but it's not such a puddle anymore. It's more like a puddle of fire. Now listen, I went down to the fire department and I specifically asked them, I said, what am I allowed to set on fire? And they said, it has to be naturally occurring stuff like organic material. Now I'm in the septic business and I can't think of anything more organic than septage. So we're gonna have Ryan dig up this septic tank and we're going to set it on fire. This should be fun. So Ryan's been nice enough to go ahead and get this lid off and uh, we're gonna see what it does to this naturally occurring organic material called septage. That does not smell good. That does not smell good at all. That smells really bad. <laughs> smells like sour money. I feel like there's a new, uh, like, there's gotta be like a business opportunity here. Something that we could like market, you know, like can't get a truck to your septic tank. We'll burn it off. Something like that, right? Yeah. Not as much smoke as I would have imagined. They must be vegan. So, I think we're only gonna have one take for this. So we gotta get it right. What can go wrong? It's protected by plexiglass. You're right, nothing could go wrong. So we have started campfires. We have started burn barrels. We have burned brush piles, we've burned a septic tank, we've done landscaping, and we've demonstrated that plexiglass will in fact protect a phone from a flamethrower. This is probably the coolest thing that I've held in my hand this week. So to everybody at Exothermic Technologies, thank you very much for sending me one of these so that I can play with it. It's been an absolute blast. Y'all have a wonderful day.